what's up my people bless upon yourself welcome back to the channel leave a like and also subscribe to the channel so as usual my people we have some things i'm gonna share with you guys and the first thing i'm gonna share with you know is the audio you see me i say so the woman where dash where our youth half a balcony and jump off so the husband or boyfriend he might talk how it go it seems to me that this woman I suffer from some mental issue. So, here with the, the boyfriend, I say. Shamaya, why you have to do this? Why? She say you not left me. Say, oh, you left me. You're still here, babe. I love you. Cause she want, at this time, she want to jump off now. So, I said to her, babe, don't jump. I love you. Don't do this, yo. Your kids are need you. So, by the time now, she not jump like she want to. You know, so you want to kill, kill herself. I know some people kill themselves, my boss. She that just walk her, mm -hmm. but she come down and climb up, hold on from the, the, the edge of the place, and she drop on the scaffolding on the building side. And she drop on the scaffolding, she drop on the one there, she drop on and sit me, put on the baby and me try to catch her. And by the time I try to catch her, I sit me, hold on my back, yeah, so right now, hold on to swell up. My back not good right now. Because I couldn't hold on all that weight if it come down. And she did it for about five minutes, but she did it for five minutes. She get up and say, Sherry, you can come here. Sherika run off with my mother and said, no, I'm not nah, coming because you're going to kill me. By the time that my mother run off with Sherika around this side of the house, she, go up, she run and go up. So I put on the baby and call for help and say, oh, no, do for help me. I saw her come now and she kill the next baby. Mm. Eight year old. So by the time I run go up in the house, Sherika was in the house and I said, thank God. Then by the time I go in and run off with Sherika, you know, she told her something to bleach her head. I take her this something to bleach from her. And put you back at ground and she take you back and I, I drink coffee, drink more again. But I was so weak, me alone couldn't deal with her because I feel like she had some force in her body. Anyway, me carry the bleach out of the door and put it down to make it whole light, just run out. She take up the knife and jam herself here. So I don't know if she gets stabbed or anything, but she have the knife here. And then she take the knife and I roll for cut her neck and sit down, me grab her, me, me start ball out, murder, and put her help me, please, because me alone can't deal with it. But by this one lady come and call help me you know, and then we walk go down back down the road now where the baby they want fire want fireman where we live in front of the fire truck and him come and work on the baby because I took the baby to me a dead baby me pick up. But be surprised when they say yo go for your van, go for your van. But my van was all the way around so and I couldn't go with the truck. So by the time that I took the took my key and run go on the road from my van and I come back and I asked the lady please come with me and hold the baby for me and then the lady come and run to Falmouth and the baby never did and then try they try their best with that baby. But if that if she wouldn't even live she would um she wouldn't she wouldn't be herself again because be as far where she threw her from she couldn't survive it. John was star that's sad people so you look to you look to me like say she has suffered from some mental health issue you see me i say so leave your comment in the comment section and tell me what you think so we're gonna move on my people to over in a saint elizabeth where your uncle and a nephew get caught up seeing so them say uncle and nephew among four killed in saint elizabeth gun attack four men including an uncle and, an, and his nephew were killing three separate gun attacks in St. Elizabeth between Thursday night and Friday morning. The deceased are 46-year-old O'Neill Benjamin, a farm worker of Ealing District, 46-year-old Trevor and his 29-year-old nephew Rajay, both from Goshen and Lennox, Leachman of Content, all in St. Elizabeth. In the first incident, which occurred on Thursday night, Benjamin was shot and killed close to a bar in his community reports are that about 7 pm the farm worker was having drink near a bar when armed men traveling in a motor car opened fire hitting him several times in the upper body benjamin was assisted to hospital where he was pronounced on friday morning the bodies of morgan and e the, the brother you name it hard to pronounce al agigal were found with gunshot wounds after their house was firebombed in Goshen. Reports are that about 1 a.m. residents heard loud explosions and later saw smoke coming from the house. They alerted the police and the fire department following cooling down operations. The bullet, riddle bodies of Margan, 
whose face was partially burnt and his nephew were found. In the third incident, Leachman was fatally shot at a dance in Union Square in Balaclava shortly after 2 a.m. Further details of the circumstances of the shooting remain unclear. Leachman was pronounced dead at hospital. The St. Elizabeth police are probing the overall development to establish the respective motives. So people, let me know what you're thinking at the comment section. And I would crash off a bike and drop out. See? So them say motorcycle is killing St. Elizabeth crash. A teenager died as a result of injuries he sustained in a crash on Ballard's Valley Main Road in St. Elizabeth early Saturday morning. Police named the deceased as J. Senior, a resident of Ballard's Valley. A police report said that about 1 a.m. Senior was driving a white Cobra motorcycle when he attempted to overtake a motor car and collided with a Honda CRV traveling in the opposite direction. He was flung from the motorcycle upon impact. Senior was rushed to the Mandeville Regional Hospital where he was pronounced dead. Senior is reportedly the second member of a St. Elizabeth family to die in a motor motorcycle crash within a week. A source told our news team that one of two motorcyclists who died on December 1st in a crash on Ballard's Valley Main Road was related to Senior. In that incident, Kimai Ebert, 24, a resident of Plowden District in Manchester, and Oden Swaby, 35, a resident of Ridge District in St. Elizabeth, died after colliding on the same main road. When I hear them talk about this place named Ballard, I say, hold on, the name is sound familiar. So, I the story I did share with you guys, I think yesterday, about the crash where the two of you them drop out. So we are going to move on people in a St. Elizabeth with the same way. So St. Elizabeth records two more murders, six people killed in 48 hours. There was another bloody night in St. Elizabeth after two men were killed in separate incidents. In the South Central Parish increasing the total to six number of people murdered in the parish in the last 48 hours. The latest incident happened in Nain and new river near santa cruz in the parish in the first incident in new river a man was shot and killed according to police sources residents heard loud explosion at approximately 11 pm the man's body was found in his yard with gunshot wounds about 6 am the following morning then in the end, a man was chopped to death during an alleged altercation with another man early saturday morning Residents say about 6 a.m. the victim accused the other man of hurling stones and his house stops. An argument reportedly developed and a machete was used to fatally chop the man. He was pronounced dead at the hospital following the recent flare-up of violence in the parish. Everton, the People's National Party councillor of Balaclava Division, appealed to residents to amicable resolve conflicts. This after three gun attacks including a double murder in Goshen district where an uncle and his nephew were killed and a house firebomb were reported in the parish. So guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. And in the St. James we are going to know people. So them say two brother killed in a one place named Green Pond. Right? An early morning attack on a home in Farmview, Green Pan in St. James on Saturday has left two men believed to be brothers dead. The men have been identified as 20-year-old Odin Tom Thompson, a housekeeper, and Javan Thompson, a chef of Farmview, Green Pan in the parish. Reports from the police are that about 2 a.m. residents heard explosion the police were summoned and the men were found in the house both were reportedly found with a number of bullet wounds to their bodies the police continue their investigations into the matter so people like subscribe let me know what you think in the comment section bless upon yourself